all right hi everyone i have this package that just arrived from uh, china just now it is a uh, hud it's a head up display which i had ordered on uh, you can see it was ordered on uh, of, uh, what 2nd of january it was shipped on 2nd of january and today is uh, 19th so it 18th i guess it is 18th so it took around uh, 16 days to arrive here is the head up display that i have ordered the model number is E350. There are so many models available. Now this particular model is 5.8 inches. And this is how it's supposed to look. It's gonna have a, a speedometer and a taco in the middle and then some other configurations at the top and left corner. Um, it is sealed right now. Let's go ahead and open it up and uh, unbox this. After unboxing, I will uh, fit it up in my car my car is xuv 500 and i i'm hoping for it to be a nice addition on my car oh wow here it is looks wonderful 5.8 inches is the size let us say oh it's tightly fitted in okay there you go 5.8 inches can see some numbers coming up let me just take it off from the plastic cover that's pretty lightweight there are some buttons and I don't know what this is for oh, that's the charging nothing this side nothing here so I guess this is going to be placed like this in front of the car and charging here and switch buttons here uh, here is the pin the cable I should be in a position to hide this cable behind the that's the that's the what you call anti-stick mat I mean this should hold this thing stable with the car and should not move it so we'll see how it how it behaves uh, once I fit it into the car and along with that I have the windshield uh, reflector wow this is very reflector as you can see it's reflecting just so much right now um, will be fun uh, when I put it up onto the onto the car so that's a quick little unboxing um, I'm gonna be reading this because I believe I need to calibrate this uh, this HUD display and once calibrated I think I should be able to uh, get the desired configuration going so uh, let me just set it up in the car next and then uh, I'll upload the video okay. alright so I have installed uh, the device in the car and I've just taken it out for a spin um, for XUV this film that they gave turned out to be smaller so rather than uh, horizontal I had to install the film vertical to cover the entire screen otherwise the, the numbers were coming off the screen maybe a little big, little bigger film was needed to uh, cover the entire uh, dash view now it may not be looking very clear in the camera but the no this is very clear um, the numbers uh, are looking single the left number is the distance so shows 1.1 kilometer I have driven the right number is the is the fuel consumption so it says 19.9 liter I need for 1000 kilo, 100 kilometers so that number is totally off uh, is wrong and the speedometer and the RPM numbers are fine okay so yeah <laughs> it'll happen um, so yeah i think uh, it's uh, it's doing the, what it's supposed to be doing uh, it's meeting my expectations so far i just went uh, just took it out for a quick little spin um, and so far so good now i have put it in such a manner that the the device is not visible to me and all i can see is is the is the is the speedometer and rpm straight in my field of view it may not be looking very clearly if you try to look it from here like this is the passenger seat view so it's definitely not that great 
um in my opinion the film definitely was was needed bigger than what it is right now this film is way too small and uh, is is not good enough we we just can't you know use this um, film properly enough what i'm going to do i'm just going to get down now from the car quickly and show you how it looks from the outside so let me stop somewhere here ah uh, yeah this is a good place for me to stop i'll just stop and um, okay it's gone to zero so that's good let me just go out and uh, show you the speed from outside and how it looks so from uh, outside you see so you can see the something is here something is here but um nothing on the screen and can't see much reflection on the screen so so that's kind of good <laughs> that's my daughter saying hi so not that distracting from outside and from inside it's giving me a great view i mean i'm surprised there's no reflection on the screen that you can see from outside so looks looks like great let me let me just continue the drive and uh, see how it looks now for tucking in i did pretty smart work so i have tucked it in uh, I, i've used all of it right so i've used the sticky pad i've used the film i've taken the wire slowly from here to, uh, going through this straight down till uh, reaching in my um, reaching under the steering so what is um, the wire has been tucked um, quite safely and so far the results look amazing thank you so much i am right now the the fuel consumption me this is off so i'll have to do something about that maybe it's a calibration and uh, like i mentioned the film is a little too short do you wear your seat belt for a safe drive uh, let me wear my seat belt do you wear your seat belt for a safe drive uh, there you go so yeah that's that's about it um like i mentioned the top right corner uh, display is little off it does not show uh, it does not show the the fuel consumption properly and the film is a little too shorter than that i seem to be pretty happy with this i'll continue using it for now and uh, i'll post a detailed review if i do have any other thoughts in my uh, next video so uh, thank you for watching and this is um this is model e350 hud which i bought it from um, aliexpress for uh, 17 dollars came for a pretty steel deal i remember trying to buy this uh, some six months back for 22 dollars and i could not because the seller could didn't ship it and he was happy to refund the price but this time around i got this device for uh, 17 dollars all shipped included pretty happy uh, nice addition so my dash cam is up here and my uh, hud is right here my car is becoming a gadget uh, filled with gadgets car so thank you so much and talk to you guys next